Hundreds of thousands of people are dusting off their chaps and their cowboy hats for the opening weekend of the National Western Stock Show. Thank you so much for joining us for Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Jacqueline Allen. And I'm Brian Wang. Denver 7's Brandon Richard probably got the best assignment of the day. <laughs> he shows us what the stock show is all about and the economic boost it brings. It's known as the best 16 days in January. 117th National Western Stock Show, which kicked off Saturday, celebrates Colorado's Western roots and traditions. So we have about seven llamas at home. 14-year-old TJ Surrey, it's an opportunity to show the llamas he and his family, including his two younger siblings, care for on their farm in Larkspur. This one's, he's more of the lazy personality, and Tomas over here, he's more of the stoic personality. TJ's llamas will compete with others this weekend, showcasing their skills. One is obstacle, so we kind of go through obstacles. Um, there's some teeter-totters, hula hoops, and then there's another one called showmanship, and that's pretty much showing off your llama and yourself to the judge. It might sound like a lot of work, but TJ says it's also a lot of fun. Well, I will say it is pretty awesome to be here. Um, I mean, a lot of people come and watch. In fact, organizers say the stock show attracts hundreds of thousands of people each year. Well, it's very interesting. I, I just love the smells and the sounds and everything about agriculture. We're from uh, North Dakota, so, uh, you know, it kind of reminds us of home a little bit. Now, the show not only provides a chance for Denverites and other locals to see some animals up close that you don't normally get to see every day, but it also has a huge economic benefit for the city. Organizers say the show provides a $120 million economic boost to the metro. Money raised at the show funds scholarships for students studying agriculture, rural medicine, and veterinary sciences, helping to ensure the Western way of life continues for generations to come. In Denver, Brandon Richard, Denver 7.